this guy a makeover. This horse is definitely a little bit beat up. He is a, a very old model in the family and he's been through a lot, a lot more than the other horses. So his coat is not doing well. He definitely should fix that up. Also, he is missing two feet and a tail. That's so sad. That's okay, we're gonna fix it. So what I've done in the past is with a little bit of jewelry wire and the glue gun, I made him prosthetics. So despite the fact that he's missing two legs, he can still stand, but I would like to fix him up just a little bit. So this whole process of giving gold a makeover is gonna have to be in steps. So the very first thing I think we're gonna work on is the tail. So our secret weapon in this whole project is going to be this stuff. This is air dry modeling clay. And I'm also using these little hooks. You don't have to use these. I'm just gonna see if they work. If they don't work, then we'll start over and not use them. All right, so I have one out of the package. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors here. And I'm just gonna bend this little hook down. You can see what I'm talking about. That's just gonna help it so when I put the hook on, it, um, this kind of gives a framework for the tail a little bit. All right, so using this high temp glue gun, I'm gonna take my wire that I bent and I'm gonna glue it right on to where his tail should be. Now I'm just taking that and I'm gonna glue it right on to here. Right, so I'm gonna have to re-glue it, but I went ahead and bent it to the shape that I wanted it to, so I'm just gonna re-glue it really quick. Perfect. All right, so it's time for the fun part. I'm gonna grab a pretty good chunk of my air dry clay. I'll start out small, so the size here is good. I'm gonna take a little bit of water. I'm just going to smooth it out a tiny bit before putting it on. All right, so I'm just going to put it onto this wire and wrap it around. And just put it a little bit on the base of his tail as well. Add a little bit more. For right now, I'm just kind of shaping it. I'm trying to keep it to the original angle. Just take some water and just really get this as smooth as I can. The main key here is just to keep this clay really, really smooth so that way when we go to put, that way when we go to add in texture, we won't have to be working with previous texture because that would look really weird. <laughs> Alright, so that is just about how long you want his tail to be and now it's time to shape it. Now, I think it'd be actually super cool if his tail was wrapping around one of his back legs. Just kind of like individual hairs, kind of like in some of the spirit molds that you see. I think that would be super cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that. All right, so I've made these little spirally snakies and I'm gonna start applying it to the tail just to add texture. So that way it's not all this one big glob of tail. <laughs> And before I forget, I'm going to take some water, dip my finger in, and I'm going to smooth it right into his natural body, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Just so that way you can't be like, oh my goodness, that's not his original tail. Alright, I mean, anyone who knows his mole knows this is not his normal tail, but you know what? Um, as long as it's smooth, you can be like, yep, 
I did this on purpose. It is time to add some texture to his tail. So you can really use whatever you want. You can use a pair of scissors, you can use a toothpick. For right now, I think, I'm gonna use a pencil, like this. We're just gonna go in and add some strokes, just to add a little bit of life. Just like that. Really focus on the top here. I'm just kind of going for it. just what I feel is a natural hairline, I suppose. Piece of hair, not hairline. Alright, so this is where we are so far. I added as much texturing as I could. But I didn't want to go overboard, so I just kind of tried to find a happy medium. Of course, as I keep looking at it, I'm like, oh, that needs to be fixed. <laughs> but this bottom part was definitely giving me some problems. Um, but I did figure it out. I made sure to really, really do some feathering -y details on the bottom. Just so it looks more natural. This little area here was mean to me. It did not want to stick down. So I had to take some more water and really press it down. So I think for now, I'm really happy with his tail. I think it definitely looks better than no tail. But no, I am actually really proud of his tail. And this is my first tail. I like him. So I'm just gonna let this dry and then we'll come back and start working on his legs. So this is Gold's tail all painted and ready to go. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for the next video in this series when we're going to do his legs. Thank you so much for watching my video. Bye guys.